Mm, little water. Ladies and gentlemen, hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the land of miracle juice. Don't drink the Kool Aid. Morning, morning, morning to the people. Is anybody awake and not at work for the moment? Come on in. If anybody is out here in the morning, come on in. We've been we've managed to make it one more day. Hopefully, you'll have a good day today. Hopefully, you'll continue to have a good week. This is your boy Marwan here at Mind Over Matter TV. Just wanted to say hello to the people this morning and give you this next story about the miracle juice. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. Jim Jones, of course, comes to mind for a lot of people. Jim Jones. And there was this cult where people in the cult were trying to convince the next person, persuade the next person to go ahead and drink the Kool-Aid to go ahead and drink the Kool-Aid. And uh, for some reason, they all had to drink the Kool-Aid. But that's an interesting story for another day, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you all are doing A-OK. What is happening this morning? We're going to get into a little NBA action, ladies and gentlemen. National Basketball Association action as the preseason heats up the lakers ain't won one preseason game yet shout out to the lakers though other teams are coming together playing hard like the atlanta hawks but uh if you may have noticed something uh there's one player the dude on the thumbnail his name is brandon Brandon Goodwin, you may notice he's not even on the team. You may have been like, wait a minute, where is Brandon Goodwin? Well, ladies and gentlemen, check this out. We've been speaking about a Kyrie Irving on the channel and uh, in the news and ESPN making a deal out of it. Many people condemning Kyrie Irving for not taking the jab, for not drinking the Kool-Aid. And uh, as a result, he is not allowed to play for the Nets in any capacity, really, until his status changes, which means the whole world is going to be looking at Kyrie Irving, which means hopefully Kyrie Irving will continue his stance. But... On the rare occasion, what could have happened to Kyrie is what happened here to this former Atlanta Hawks guard named Brandon Goodwin, who claims that taking the that sipping on the juice is what led him to end his season, got his season ended, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what this story is all about here. He recently was on Twitch talking about it. Former Atlantic point guard Brandon Goodwin season ended early last year due to a minor respiratory condition. And as you know, many people understand what's what's what the juice is meant to solve. It's a respiratory, upper respiratory situation. The Hawks went on a deep postseason run to the Eastern Conference Finals, as you may remember, and the team decided not to bring this man back. He has not signed with another team since. Ladies and gentlemen, recently on a Twitch stream, this basketball player revealed his side of the story. And it all starts with him receiving the COVID. 19 thing ladies and gentlemen that's when he believes his story started when he received the juice when he took a sip of the juice 
ladies and gentlemen so what i'm gonna have you hear and listen to now is the story of this guy brandon and what happened to him and you'll see here here's the guy right here his name is brandon Brandon Goodwin It's going to tell his story and I'll let it play real quick. I got sick and then I never quite recovered from it. Like my all, all it I got sick and then I never quite recovered from it. Like my I always had back pain. Uh, um you know I was just super tired in the games like when we played Philly back to back. Bro, I was so tired like I felt like I couldn't run up and down the court. And then my back was hurting. Then we went home, I think. That's when I started, like, my back really started hurting bad. Like, And then I'm like, all right, I got to go to the doctor. And that's when I found, like, I found out I had blood clots. Like, that all happened in a span of a month. I was fine up until then. Up until I took the vaccine, I was fine. So people trying to tell you, like, no, it's not the vaccine. No, like, how do you know? You don't, you don't know. Yes, the vaccine ended my season, thousand percent. And then the Hawks, nothing against the Hawks. They just called me the next day while I was in the hospital and told me, like, uh, we're going to tell the press that, you know, your season's over. I'm like, damn. I'm like, damn, how? Like, I ain't even, we don't even know what it is. But it's whatever. I'm not even going to get into all that, bro. I still got love for the Hawks. Mad love for the Hawks. And I just know if I would have played, it would have been way different. We needed somebody to get in the paint, make some plays. I don't know where I'm playing at this year. I ain't going to lie to y'all. I don't know. Um... And they just like, don't say anything about it. Don't tell nobody. I'm like, bro, what? I mean, I was supposed to be taking uh, blood thinners because I had blood clots. I had two blood clots. I was supposed to be taking something called blood thinners. And while you take blood thinners, you can't play. You can't play basketball. You can't play five-on-five contact. So during the whole time I was sitting out with the Hawks, I was I was fine. Like I was playing three on three, dunking the ball, everything. I was I was normal. I got back to normal after I had that little episode. Went to the hospital. Um, I was cool. I was fine. And so I um I, I kept asking them like, "Can I play? Can I play? Can I play?" I was telling them like, "I'm good. I could play." Uh, and they said, kept saying I couldn't play. So I'm like, "All right, whatever, bro." So I missed that opportunity to play in the playoffs. Um, I was fine. Nobody cared, seemed to care at all. They're just like, all right, you're not playing. Um, so that's whatever. They told me, my doctor told me not to play basketball in the summer. But I'm like, but I wasn't supposed to be playing in the summer, but I was playing anyways. So my agent... So my agent um just kept saying, like, you know, I just got to work around this whole blood clot situation with teens. I'm like, that's over with. But I'll be back. I'll be on somebody's team, bro, soon. I don't, I don't really know who yet. Morning, 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 y'all. As you can tell, this brother is in a situation where he took, he, he, he sipped the juice. He went ahead and just like everyone was sort of asked to or almost ordered to, told to, mandated to, he did it. But then according to him, he was fine with everything, with his health, fine with everything up until he took this juice. And once he said he took the juice, he started feeling, you know, within a few weeks, he started feeling horrible, his back was weak back-to-back games he couldn't really play something was wrong he goes to the hospital 
and they tell him he's got blood clots, ladies and gentlemen. And as you know, from a lot of different uh, stories you've heard from people who got the juice, is that many of them get this rare blood clot. I don't know how rare it is, but the, the blood starts to clot a little bit. And the team told him he couldn't play. The team told him while he was in the hospital that he's off the t- that he's not going to be playing for the rest of the season, which was just the end of last year, the end of the last season, uh, which was around August. I mean, I'm sorry, May, June. He didn't play in the playoffs. And this is after taking the, the juice. And that is what some people are concerned with, taking the juice. They're worried about blood clots after the juice. They're worried about getting sick. They 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 hear stories and science that says it doesn't prevent you from from uh, you know getting sick. It doesn't prevent you from getting other people sick. What ha- what what if that were Kyrie Irving or any other player who decided to take the juice, sip the juice, but then the next thing you know, they end up in the hospital. And a lot of people don't really care when they're all hung up over the juice. Some people won't care. They'll say, oh, it's just one player. We don't know, you know, if it's connected to the juice or not. It doesn't seem to bother other players, all the other players, so we're not going to care. We're just going to scoot his story and his side effects and what he's connecting with the dots. We're going to scoot all that up under the rug, ladies and gentlemen. We're not going to tell anybody. The Atlanta Hawks told this brother not to say what it was. So it's so suspicious, ladies and gentlemen. Brandon Goodwin's story is very suspicious. And it's connected to, he said, it all started after he got the juice. And that there's all this effort by the team and everyone else to keep it quiet, to don't say anything. He knows his health. He understands his body. And as you know, this type of blood clot, right? What the blood clot? It has been attributed. It has been attributed to J&J juice. It has been attributed to J&J juice. According to the CDC. Blood clots have been reported. Women under the age of 50 years old are advised to remain cautious about the rare but increasing risk of developing blood clots from the juice and juice, J&J juice. This type of risk apparently has not been seen in other juices, other name brand juices. And Brandon Goodman says, people trying to tell you, no, it's not the juice. And Goodman asks, how do you know? You don't know. In another Twitch, Brandon Goodwin doubled down on his belief that the juice is what caused his health issues. He said, yes, 1,000%, the juice ended my season. The brother said someone from the Atlanta Hawks called him while he was in the hospital to let him know that they're going to be doing a press release and that they're going to tell the press that his season is over with. Oh, man. So maybe there's more to the story about this brother because he believes he still would have had an impact on the team, but they took him off the team altogether. And he now has no idea where he's going to be playing. Ladies and gentlemen, just another story to consider as we look at the juice and some of the reactions from the juice. Sometimes brothers go out here and they get waxed and things don't end up the way they planned or the way they had hoped. And Brandon Goodman is no longer on the Atlanta Hawks. Imagine if that had happened to Kyrie Irving taking the juice. What the blood clot getting tired, back aching. Ladies and gentlemen, just sit back in your seat and observe things if you can as this uh, politicized juice operation continues 
this mandated juice program continues and we will see some more of these uh, stories maybe of the side effects but more than anything we hope and pray that people continue to be healthy that people continue to walk to jog to work out to continue to eat your vegetable to continue to stay away from dairy and otherwise cow mucus try not to consume these things Always stay focused on your health and keep track of anything that's abnormal. And always stay in close communication with your doctor, with a nurse, with someone who knows the deal. And of course, be be, be ready to share your story whenever you can. And this is your boy Marwan here at Mind Over Matter TV. Talking about Brandon Goodwin of the Atlanta Hawks, who believes his whole season ended thanks to the Hawks giving him a call while he was in the hospital after he sipped the juice. After he sipped the Johnson & Johnson juice. Unbelievable. Y'all, y'all have a good rest of the day, all right? Take it easy. Take, take it easy. Peace out. One love. To thine own self, be true, y'all. Peace out.